and see lives grow in us. You tell me, this is Ron, and this is WRWK LP FM 92.9 FM, the work FM, right here in Midlothian, serving Chesterfield, Henrico, Richmond, Goochland, Canada, and the entire internet universe. Thanks for joining us. We wouldn't be here without you. Look, it's not the other way around, huh? So, without further ado, I would like to turn this whole shebang over to Rose Simmons. Oh, good afternoon, Richmond. Good afternoon. This is Rose Simmons, and you are listening to The Rose Simmons Show. We're on air Monday through Thursday from 1 o'clock p.m. until 2 o'clock p.m. Today, Ron, yep. this is a special day. Boy, we, we're working this out in here today. Yep, we got the crew. Yes, we do. We have a crew. We want to thank um, our guest from last week, Mr. Stephen Sykes, who... Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's joining us uh, in the studios today and uh, helping us with those growing pains. So we want to uh, just um, take a moment here and just say thanks to him. Uh, I think we have a, a few little growing pains <laughs> going on again, Ron. Right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Guys, we got a great show line for you today. Ron, I'm excited about this. We Me been, too. I know. We've been preparing this for a while. Yeah, great leaps. Yeah, great leaps. great leaps in just a few days. So, mm-hmm. well, let's jump on into it. Uh, I want to introduce to my audience here today uh, Mr. Khalid. Khalid, I can't pronounce your last name, so I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> and uh, Corey McCartney. These Two gentlemen are just storming uh, the United States. They're going, hey, we're going to try to make this world right. And what they're doing, they are bringing communities together through art and film. Guys, say hello. Come here. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Didn't have my <laughs> There we go. <laughs> There you go, Khalid. I'm sorry. You can hear me? I can hear you. Let's, let's, there you go. There you go. So how are you doing today, Khalid? I'm doing good. Very happy to be here yeah. for the opportunity. Listen, it's our pleasure. It's, it's our pleasure. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and introduce Corey. Corey, say hello. <laughs> Corey, are you there? Oh, can you hear us, Corey? We may have a few little growing things. Okay. Another element. Corey, you there? There you are. Say again? Yeah, one guess. It's real Okay. Okay. Uh, While Corey's getting that together, Corey, tell us a little bit about. who you are. Uh, talk to us. Yeah, so again, my name is Khalid Abdul Khadir. My name is uh, pronounced a lot easier than it looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you know, I, um, I'm i a prior Navy guy. I did uh, five years active, three years reserve in the Navy. In the, uh, uh, I served the majority of my career with the Marine Corps. Uh, for the folks who don't know what a Foreman is in the Navy, it's, uh, it's a medic, for lack of a better term. So I was a field medic or a combat medic. I was a uh, Loved it. Taught me a lot. Got to see the world. And, um, you know, from there, that inspired my, my mm-hmm. education. So I went on to do my business. I did my master's, uh, my MBA. And then I did a master's in global international relations. Uh, so you see, I was, you know, touching on the business side, also touching on the international relations. And that's kind of the, this whole idea we have here became part of So I'm originally from Florida and uh, been living in Canada for about 15 years. And here in the world, that's that's um, that's impressive. Um, 
I think you're, you're coming in just a little choppy there. Uh, I don't think everyone, um, I don't think we got everything you said, uh, but I did hear you say that you were a medic in the Navy, and um, you went on to receive your master's. I believe I didn't hear exactly what you received it in. So I got my MBA, mm -hmm. and I got a master's in international relations. Yes. Am I still right. happy? I might need to grab my headphones. Uh, that, that's coming in pretty good now, guys. Ron, what are you saying? I, I think I think it's just the internet connection speed. Okay. Yeah. Um, but that's that's a variable. Yeah. Storms and stuff. All right, guys. While we're working out um, the kinks, we're gonna yeah, keep moving. Yeah, yeah, we can play the video. Yeah, that's, really? that's from this end. Sure, sure. I may have uh, I may have fixed my issue here. You did fix it, Corey. Corey's good from this end. <laughs> you sound great. And the voice All right. Is, wow, you sound great. <laughs> great. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm not sure uh, what was said already, but um, uh, you know, I just uh, when I moved to Kansas City from LA about three years ago, uh, Khalid he put out on Facebook that he wanted to make a superhero film, and um, and that's a, he was very vague with it, and I wanted to, uh, so I decided I was going to meet up with him because I knew him from high school, and we've kept in touch here and there over the years. But um, but uh, when he, when he said he wanted to make the superhero film, he told me the approach methodology of it, and and I really bought in. So uh, and it's all about bringing different demographics together, and and uh, so we're on our way to doing that, but. The methodology and it's something that I bought in with because um, that's all I've tried to do in my personal life is bring people together and and achieve unity. So very good, sounds good. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for just taking out um, some time out of your day and coming and uh, being on the Rose Simmons show. We're going to dive into what exactly uh, you guys are doing. Um, I'm going to queue up a video here uh, and I, I want you guys to just lead us into what this video represents um, and just give us a little snippet uh, before uh, we're going to play it and then after our viewers have a, a moment to see it and hear it then I want you to just dive in and tell us all about it. So give us give us about uh, thirty seconds or a minute of what what we're about to see in here. Yeah. So what you're about to see is phase one out of three that we're doing in Kansas City. Um, the idea of this project, this phase one that you're about to see, is you know it acted as a demonstration that we could use film as a uh, a viable tool to bring two different communities together, mm -hmm. and then once they come together. Then we're able to have a, a realistic discussion. Uh, meaningful relationships are formed as a result of that experience. And then these communities, these demographics can take those experiences back into the real world and have a, a real world impact, you know, sort of a uh, conflict resolution, uh, you know, social and cultural uh, sensitivity component as well. Okay, Corey, did you want uh, to add to that before we jump into the video? Uh, no, I, that he pretty much shorted up in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, listeners, here we are. Uh, this is entitled Disarmed. Let the church say amen. amen. Let's give him a, just a hand clap of praise. The word of God in Psalms, David speaks. He says, oh, how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. And I am just 
concerned about that scripture because we're living in a time where there's no unity. Where people are fighting each other, where folk are killing each other. Crime on crime after crime after crime. So I challenge the church to show this community what love looks like. What are we going to do as a church? I just received word that there's a altercation in our neighborhood. And you remember I asked you, what are we going to do as a church? We can't say we love someone. We have to show that we love them. So I'm going to check and see what's going on in our neighborhood. So if you want to follow me, I ask that you follow me as a church so we can show the community what it is to love and how to love. Interactions turned into something from nothing. The loss of lives daily shouldn't be up for discussion. Funerals shouldn't be a part of my budget. Yo, do you know the pain? Waiting all night for the child that never came. Really got to know your lover when they held his brain. Or that baby in the back who witnessed everything and somehow nothing's changed. I tried to run, but it chased me down. Running from my fears, gotta face it now. When did we fall so far? Why you gotta make my life so hard? I don't wanna live in the world of men. If they mean I'm paying for another sin. Hands in the air, here we go again. Put your hands in the air, here we go again. Conversation with the nation, please. I heard we had discrepancies. There's a rumor that we hate police. I just want to voice the rights. Miranda didn't write for me. When I leave my house, I tell my wife goodbye. My position borderline suicide. Do you know how many nights I neglect the afterlife? Pulling people over, steady praying I don't have to fight. Yeah. Gunshots, bang, bang. Make it home, my family worry the same thing. Illegal action is painted the faction, but don't ignore the real crime beneath the distraction. Y'all react away. How many innocents died because of bad day? How many innocents die because of bad aim? Y'all riot for change, but y'all never change. More of the same thing. I tried to run, but it chased me down. Running from my fears, gotta face it now. When did we fall so far? Why you gotta make my life so hard? I don't wanna live in the world of men. If they mean I'm paying for another sin. Hands in the air, here we go again. Put your hands in the air, here we go again.
what happens next is up to us. Accountability. Accountability on both sides. Tried to run, but it chased me down. Running from my fears, gotta face it now. When did we fall so far? Why you gotta make my life so hard? I don't wanna live in the world of man. If that mean I'm paying for another sin. Hands in the air, here we go again. Put your hands in the air, here we go again. The awakening has begun. From the fire pit, you got to keep a stick like you Moses. If ice could talk, it would tell you I'm the coldest. Live back on the air. Uh, you're watching on Facebook and YouTube, The Rose Simmons Show. We have two very special guests, uh, such a powerful video we uh, were just playing. And um, I'm going to let these guys unpack that. We have on air with us today, uh, Khalid and Corey. Guys, talk to us. Khalid? Yeah, so what you just saw, um, um, again, was Are a, you guys hearing us? Um, yes. Are we? Can you hear me? Yes, here we go. There we go. We have. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, again, what you saw there was a demonstration um, that we did. You know, we wanted to show that we could use film and art as a way to bring two very different communities together. And when I say different, you know, I'm speaking from a social and cultural context. You know, we know what, what the, the social and cultural context is uh, as far as the relationship goes between the African-American community and the police department. So, um, you know, using film and art as the, the vehicle, um, we were able to get these two communities to come together and they were able to have a very, very serious, uh, very uh, relevant discussion through the art. And so, you know, we wanted to, you know, figure out a way that these two communities to come to, could come together and have this conversation in a peaceful manner. And through that process, they would then build, you know, relationships, mm -hmm. you know, literally through their, their proximity with each other and then carry those relationships out into the real world, their real world interactions. What I noticed, um, not only did you have uh, the music artist rapping, but there was also a police officer uh, rapping as well. Um, tell, tell us, how, how difficult was it to uh, get the police department on this project? Gore, you want to explain that? 30 yeah. meetings? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, you take know, your time. Tell us. <laughs> you know, uh, well, aside from the methodology, you know, bringing two different demographics together through film and music, um, we wanted to go after what we thought would probably be the most difficult challenge at the time, um, which is bringing, you know, the police department together with a bunch of people who just really don't have any interest in working with the cops, number one. Um, so when we went to the police department to ask if they would be willing to do a rap video, um, initially, you know, they said yes. Right. They said, yeah, let's do it. Sure. And then over the course of 10 months and 30 meetings and a lot of back and forth, we got it done. But um, in order to find the actual officer was was fun because, you know, they actually held um, auditions. We actually held auditions within the department and the department. What they sent out to the, all the officers was a singing competition. A singing competition. A singing competition. So the audition. 
songs? Did, 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 you, did you guys, were you privy to that? And do you know some of the songs that they auditioned with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, actually, so the officer you saw singing, his name is Nathan Harper, great guy. Um, he sent his audition, I think he was singing a uh, like a stage play. You know, he was singing like a classical song, you know, that you would mm -hmm. see in a traditional stage performance. And so, you know, I was listening to that and I was like, uh, you know, I'm trying to gauge how could we go from that to to, to rap? To rap. You know, Corey Corey pointed out that mm -hmm. Officer Harper had, you know, two sleeves full of tattoos. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Hey, you know, this guy's got tattoos. I like, I'm sure he can rap. <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was the process. <laughs> well, um, the police department, Kansas City, and, and let me say again, this is the Kansas City Police Department. Are we are correct. That's right. Yes. This and, is Kansas City. Uh -huh. And the, the majority of the uh, officers that you saw in that video, they were actually the SWAT team. So that was the Kansas City Police Department TAC unit, which is the SWAT team for the entire metropolitan area. So we have the TAC unit. Not only are they um, well versed in weaponology, but they are well versed in rap videos as well. But this one, especially because it is, um, guys, what I saw in this video was hope. That that's what I saw. That's what I'm I'm taking away um, with it, and I'm sure that listeners are, and uh, viewers are as well. Um, Corey, talk to us about uh, conversations with the nation. Uh, I oh, heard that. No. Yeah, I heard that line in in the the actual music. So, what what does that mean to you, Khalid? And you answer as well when he's done. So, Spades Lund, he actually coined that phrase. He wrote all the lyrics for um, for the song. He wrote the chorus, and he actually wrote both verses. Um, you know, with the approval of you know the police department. But you know, conversation with the nation is 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 we want to do have the conversation right the mm -hmm. toughest conversation that's out there which is even tougher right now than what it was mm -hmm. in january when we filmed this so and i like what you said with hope because you know at the end there's two signs being held up mm -hmm. we are listening and speak the truth right um those two messages speak the truth is held on the community side and we are listening is held on the on the police side so you know they wanted to hold those signs up because you know we want to speak the truth about what's going on in the community um and what we need to do to fix it and the police department they want everybody to know at least the kansas city police that they're listening and this is a demonstration of them listening to us when we came to them um, with some issues that we had and how we wanted to deal with it so yeah, that's it definitely gives me hope. So that's that's the conversation that we want to have. So that's the conversation with the nation. Go ahead, Khalid. You want to jump in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. You know, um, as Corey mentioned, you know, this process took 28, 30, 30 meetings or so <clears throat> over the course of about eight months uh, to get it done. And that was conversations, you know, specifically with KCPD. Um, and a lot of those meetings also involved other community members, because as you can imagine, um, you know, me coming off of the street, walking into the police department and saying, Hey, I want you guys to make a rap video. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> they yeah. were very, yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Right. But you, you know. know what it does though? Um, it, excuse me for interrupting. It gives the next person, um, uh, hope for a challenge. And um, it lets them know that it, that even though this is so crucial, this conversation and this project that you all um, are sharing with the nation uh, is still a dream come true. So that means that all of our dreams can come true. Absolutely. You, you hit the nail on the head. You know, something that we've said from the beginning is that <clears throat> we're more interested in seeing how our project influences other people to continue doing other, you know, engaging projects uh, with their neighbors and with people. 
uh, that live within their communities. So that's that's what we're really interested in seeing is, is how this impacts and influences other people. Um, but as far as, you know, the conversation with the nation, you know, that's a that's a hell of a line uh, and it has so much weight to it. And, you know, something that, you know, I've been able to bring full circle, you know, even within my own family, um, because, you know, after George Floyd was was killed and the protest raged, even in Kansas City, um, some of my own family members went and they were involved in a, um, you know, a peaceful protest demonstration uh, that later ended up getting out of hand. But before it got out of hand, they were on Facebook Live speaking to an officer. And the officer they were speaking to was a TAC unit officer that was in our video. Well, yeah, I was helping already. And and um, I, I like you bringing up the fact that um, you guys started filming this in January of 2020. Right. So yeah. uh, here, here you are in prophetic mode. <laughs> OK, B this is where we are now in our nation, um, in many city cities across the nation. Um, we have the police officers and then we have the citizens and uh, there's unrest there. You guys saw this before uh, George Floyd, before his untimely death. And um, tell us, wh where did that come from? How how? Uh, could you have known? <laughs> I know through prayer and faith, but talk to me about that. Yeah, so the the why is is deep as it always should be. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm actually a, a distant relative of Michael Brown. Uh, as I said, I'm from St. Louis. Um, Michael Brown, uh, his mother Leslie McSpadden. I'm related to her uh, distantly through my grandmother Cynthia McSpadden. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that. Uh, I was overseas at the time when uh, when Michael Brown was killed, uh, and I, you know, I was kind of hearing bits and pieces about it, but I, I didn't really know what was going on. I was actually in China, and so you know, China, you know, you don't you don't really get information as uh, readily in China. Um, but yeah, I was hearing something happened, and you know, but I got added to a uh, a group page. Um, on Facebook, a family member group page. And uh, through that is actually when I found out that I was related to Michael Brown. I, I had never met him or his immediate family or anything like that, but that's when I actually found out that, that I was related. So I was really distraught uh, by that because, you know, the, the, biggest, the biggest pain that I had with it was the fact that I wasn't there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So oh, I know what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm on the other side of the world, mm -hmm. you know, doing things that, that I feel are going to help bring, you know, people together and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, I'm not even at home uh, dealing with the issues that I have back home. Yeah. So that was the origin of this. I, I didn't know where I was going to go with it, with it or how it was going to get there. But I knew that uh, that sparked the direction. Mm hmm. And then I just kind of let the direction flow naturally until we we arrived at uh, at our current location. You know, to add to add to that, Rose. Um, you know, whenever we Khalid and I first sat down to talk about the project, the overall project that we wanted to make. Um, you know, he explained to me what he wanted to do with Phase One, which was very basic. Just you know, we wanted to make a song with the with the police department. And then as we were going and conceptualizing this, I, re I realized, you know, how how personal this was for me as well. Um, mm -hmm. Number one, you know, being biracial, um, you know, that unity is something that I've never had, mm -hmm. you know, with my mom and dad. Right. You know, my dad is actually a St. Louis County police officer. And my dad was the police officer that was in charge of the precinct that Michael Brown was killed in after the, the, the protest. So, you know, that's, and that's the way the department has used him. You know, if there's something controversial going on in St. Louis County and the sharp sergeant that they bring in to deal with the aftermath is usually him. Mm -hmm. um, 
so, you know, just a couple of weeks later, you know, he was ta- he took over, you know, North County and St. Louis, St. Louis County. So, you know, just looking at myself and knowing Khalid's story with Michael Brown and then knowing how I'm connected to this through my father in law enforcement, um, it was a no brainer for me as well. Just, yeah, you know, we had yeah, to, we yeah, had to merge yeah. these demographics and move forward with phase one. So these roots run deep for both of you. And um, I, I can see why the project is uh, has so much passion. Um, the world thanks you for this film and um, mostly for conversations with the nation because I believe that uh, that's heavy. That's where we are now. And guys, you know, this takes me even back into my own life where I think about um, some things that I have had to endure in the past four or five years. Uh, I haven't really broken it down uh, to my listeners yet, but um, you and I, uh, the two of us, our teams, are going to partner in helping with the conversations for the nation. Uh, Talk about that a little. Yeah. So, you know, we actually, before we, um, <clears throat> before we met you, actually, we, uh, you know, we, we paid uh, respects um, to a situation that, that you endured. Um, you know, there was a panning scene where the camera panned to its left and uh, there were nine individuals in the pews in prayer. And uh, that was, you know, that was our way to, uh, you know, pay our respects uh, to obviously a situation uh, close to you. And so, you know, yeah. So the fact that we were then able to uh, connect with you after we had, you know, since May of last year been like, you know, we have to, uh, we have to have this scene as, as a part of this, this video to pay that respect. And then, you know, almost, you know, six, seven, eight months later, then we're, we're talking to you. Uh, so yeah, that, that in itself, you know, for me is a, is a victory that I'm, I'm very happy, happy with. So, so yeah, you know, I look at each one of these components of us being able to come together and, and what we're trying to achieve as victories. And, um, you know, I feel like as we just move forward with this, we're just creating victories going forward, you know? Corey, did you want to add something to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we use, we, we made a conscious effort to use powerful images in the video, you know, and we wanted to pay tribute to, you know, a few different victims, you know, um, obviously the nine members in the church, you know, that Khalid spoke of, but, you know, there were a couple other images in there as well. Um, you know, Philando Castillo, um, you know, when he was murdered, um, in Minnesota, you know, he was murdered in front of his four year old daughter. Um, and that's actually portrayed in, in the video as well. Um, whereas, you know, the, the singer buddy love who pulls her out of the back seat, almost in a guardian angel type fashion. Um, and then, um, and then, you know, the lady holding the blue flag, the blue line flag, um, that's, that's the pay tribute to, a, a officer, Natalie Corona, who was, who was gunned down at a, uh, a traffic accident. You know, she was two weeks on the job. There was a traffic accident. She was there to help people. And, and she was gunned down by a guy who rolled up on a bicycle, you know, and she famously took that photo when she graduated the Academy in a blue dress and wearing the, you know, having the, uh, the, the thin blue line flag. So we pay tribute that, to that as well. Well, powerful images. Um, well, we thank you. Um, we want you guys to just hang on for a minute. We are going to take a small uh, station break here before we play the video uh, that you have so graciously uh, given of your time, your hearts, uh, just your lives to create so that we can bring about some peace into this world. Um, so you guys hang on for a second. Sounds good. 
Well, thank you, uh, listeners. We have a really powerful, really, really powerful show today. Uh, my two guests, Corey and Khalid, they are the uh, directors and writers of uh, Disarmed, which is a film uh, involving the Kansas City Police Department and members of the community. And uh, they are uh, collaborating through art and film. We're going to be right back with them in just a few minutes. I'm going to hop over to a few things I need to talk with you about, Richmond. We want to thank you for uh, listening to WRWK. And I want to talk about some of our uh, volunteers here and what our volunteers mean to us. Volunteers provide the energy that lets WRWK get the job done. Volunteers help create and maintain a climate where they and others can create energetic, supportive, and be reliable. We need each volunteer to contribute to the positive synergy of the station by investing skills, interests, experience, and talents. Ron, you're, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're a great volunteer, Ron. <laughs> we want to go ahead and uh, tell Leslie and S- Scott and Lee. Jay, Lisa, Liz, Ian, Max, and Stephanie, we thank you for volunteering here at WRWK and making this community radio station what it is. WRWK, the purpose, why are we here? Ron, that is the age-old question of the universe. That's right. Why are we here? (laughs) Well, WRWK, we are here to reweave the social fabric through community radio. Community radio builds bridges from city to county. Left to right, right to left, neighbor to neighbor, old and new. We air topics of local and broad interest and concerns of the social and physical environment. We also promote solutions. Mm -hmm. That's what our show is about today. Ron, these guys are great. I know you're enjoying, I know you're working (laughs) over there on our technical support, but I know that you are enjoying these two gentlemen. Indeed. Yeah. That's where the solutions come from. Yeah, that's where it comes from, our hearts, our passion, and uh, what we want to give and leave to the world. Speaking of giving to the world. How about some kindness? Uh, If you can see, let me see if I can get this sign up. There it is, be kind. I got it, I got it. All right, be kind, be kind. Well, Miss Jeannie Bonnell uh, wanted to let the world know that every day we need to be kind. Uh, She started making the be kind sign as a way to cope with all of the negativity and paralyzing messages that exist today. Guys, it's just a simple reminder that a kind word or gesture has power and can change the trajectory of someone's day. If you guys would like to receive a sign uh, by Ms. Jeannie Bonnell, you can email her and she'll be happy to send one to you. Her email is Bonnell at comcast.net. I'm going to spell that for you to make sure we have it correctly. It is G-I-N-I-B-O-N-N-E-L-L. That's Jeannie Bonnell at Comcast.net. Well, let's talk about synergy. Synergy uh, rhymes with energy. Isn't that what they taught us? I I just keep going back to, uh, I think from kindergarten to sixth grade is where I learned everything. (laughs) What was the purpose of high school? Okay. What was it? I can't remember. I can't remember anything I learned in high school, but I remember everything from <laughs> kindergarten to sixth grade. What is synergy? The combined effect of members re- resulting in something greater than the sum of its parts. Individual efforts which together exceed the sum of those efforts. Wow. And helping each other succeed. That's what Khalid and Corey are doing. They're helping communities and uh, police uh, departments uh, come together and find peace through art 
and film. We're going to go right into the video again. Um, for those of you who are on Facebook and YouTube, if you're listening to me and you're hearing me on this radio, please share this video with all of your friends. Make sure that they share it. And I'm sure uh, Khalid and Corey, as they come back on the line with me, will uh, make sure that you have their contact information. If you are wanting to have a conversation with them, listen, let's let's get these guys so busy that they mm-hmm. don't have time to think about anything else but bringing disarmed uh, to your community. And here we go. Ron, are we ready? Um, sure. Hang on a second. Okay. So as Ron is queuing up uh, the video, and here we have it, let's go. Let the church say amen. Amen. Let's give him just a hand clap of praise. The word of God in Psalms, David speaks. He says, oh, how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. And I am just concerned about that scripture because we're living in a time where there's no unity where people are fighting each other, where folk are killing each other, crime on crime after crime after crime. So I challenge the church to show this community what love looks like. What are we going to do as a church? I just received word that there's a altercation in our neighborhood. And you remember, I asked you, what are we going to do as a church? We can't say we love someone. We have to show that we love them. So I'm going to check and see what's going on in our neighborhood. So if you want to follow me, I ask that you follow me as a church so we can show the community what it is to love and how to love. That mean I'm paying for another sin. Hands in the air, here we go again. Put your hands in the air, here we go again. Conversation with the nation, please. I heard we had discrepancies. There's a rumor that we hate police. I just want to voice the rights. Miranda didn't write for me. And what if we start killing you? Off the simple fact that we ain't feeling you. And we don't deal with consequence, but we get the compliments. Beat the case even when the evidence is obvious. Common sense. Try ducking for nothing. Innocent interactions turn into something for nothing. The loss of lives daily shouldn't be up for discussion. Funerals shouldn't be a part of my budget. Yo, do you know the pain? 
Waiting all night for the child that never came. Really got to know your lover when they held his brain. Or that baby in the back who witnessed everything and somehow nothing's changed. I tried to run, but it chased me down. Running from my fears, gotta face it now. When did we fall so far? Why you gotta make my life so hard? I don't wanna live in the world of men. If that means I'm paying for another sin. Hands in the air, here we go again. Put your hands in the air, here we go again. Conversation with the nation, please. I heard we had discrepancies. There's a rumor that we hate police. I just want to voice the rights. Miranda didn't write for me. When I leave my house, I tell my wife goodbye. My position borderline suicide. Do you know how many nights I neglect the afterlife? Full of people over steady prey, and I don't have to fight. Yeah. Gunshots, bang, bang. Make it home, my family worry the same thing. Illegal action is painted the faction, but don't ignore the real crime beneath the distraction. Y'all react away. How many innocents died because of bad day? How many innocents died because of bad aim? Y'all riot for change, but y'all never change. More of the same thing. I tried to run, but it chased me down. Running from my fears, gotta face it now. When did we fall so far? Why you gotta make my life so hard? I don't want to live in the world of men If that means I'm paying for another sin Hands in the air, here we go again Put your hands in the air, here we go again What happens next is up to us Accountability Accountability on both sides Tried to run, but it chased me down. Running from my fears, gotta face it now. When did we fall so far? Why you gotta make my life so hard? I don't wanna live in the world of men. If that means I'm paying for another sin. Hands in the air, here we go again. Put your hands in the air, here we go again. The awakening has begun. From the fire pit, you gotta keep a stick like you Moses. If ice could talk, it would tell you I'm the coldest. for stepping into your being and um, bringing this video through prophecy. I can say that uh, because you, you had this passion uh, for this topic uh, before uh, the death of George Floyd. And as you have stated, it's because uh, Khalid, you are related to Mike Brown um, and Corey, because your dad is out there on the front lines protecting uh, citizens who are now saying they, they don't even want to be protected by the police. So it takes courage to do, uh, to do a job that no one wants you to do, but to do it in the right heart. So we salute him as a police officer. 
guys, uh, I, I really love the video. I, of course, this is not my first time seeing it, but uh, I, I'm so blessed and honored to have you here just to be able to share it with the listeners of WRWK here on uh, the Rose Simmons Show. A question. Uh, Corey, Khalid, can you give us some information, contact information for you, for the listeners? Uh, absolutely. Um, our email is admin at facekc.org. And also there's a ton of info on the website at facekc.org, www.facekc.org. Mm-hmm. And that's F-A-C-E-K-C dot O-R-G. And um, tell us, how can our listeners and viewers uh, see Disarmed? How can they uh, be able to watch this in their homes and share it with their friends? Uh, easiest way is um, to find the link on facekc.org, but there's also um, a YouTube link. Uh, so if you just type in Disarmed in YouTube, it, it'll probably be the top one of the top three options, um, if, it's not, if it's not the first option. And then, um, you know, there's been some other outlets that have shared it. Case Kansas City Police Department's Facebook page. It's on their page. It's on our personal pages. So, yeah, it's out there in a few different places. Perfect. Now, um, you you guys had a big meeting yesterday. Uh, tell us about it. Well, actually, that that meeting got postponed till tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> but well, we gotta have you back on the show then, yeah. <laughs> because because I'm nosy. I want to know. <laughs> yeah, but just to uh, you know, give you some insight that that mm-hmm. meeting um, is gonna be with the mayor, mm-hmm. Mayor uh, Quentin Lucas of Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been you know we've been reaching out to him a lot throughout this mm-hmm. entire process, mm-hmm. and uh, you know now that we're you know we've definitely completed the process, obviously, but things have kind of uh, slowed down a little bit so he can get back to us and uh, we can re-engage this, this entire project. Because again, what you just saw is phase one mm-hmm. of a larger project, a three phase project. So, um, so yeah, we're going to speak with, with the mayor tomorrow. Uh, and also um, in a few weeks from now, we're also going to have a, a round table discussion with some key individuals as well. Question. Uh, I noticed that there are several people um, rapping in the video. Uh, did we call their names or, or not? Um, I think I think you were at one point, but um, let's give them some homage here, some love. And who, who are the guys rapping? And and also um, with the flag. Uh, yeah, give me some names of those people. You guys, sure. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so you know, Spade Lun, he is um, he's a spoken word poet who can also rap. Obviously, um, mm-hmm. he's one of the top ten ranked poets in the world right now. I think the last I heard, he's number eight as far as um, some of the. Khalid, you might have to help me on that one, but there's a ranking system for spoken word poets. Mm-hmm. Um, and he traveled around doing poetry. What and, was his uh, name again? Also, Officer Nathan Hart. What's that? What was his name again? Spade Lun. Spade, okay. so S P A D E S mm-hmm. L U N N. And then also, uh, Officer Nathan Harper. Mm-hmm. Um, Officer Nathan Harper, he's a classically trained singer. So. You know, this was his first time rapping, but Spades got him through, and uh, he did a great job. <laughs> and then also the guy singing the chorus, the hook, his name is, uh, his stage name is Buddy Love. Um, he's actually one of Khalid's relatives. He's from St. Louis, um, living in Kansas City. And if you notice in the video, he has a jacket on, mm-hmm. and half of the jacket is a St. Louis logo, and then the other half of the jacket is a Kansas City logo, because... 
there's actually a disunity between those two cities as well um, and, a, and a gap that we're trying to bridge between the two cities, the two major cities in the state of Missouri as well. So, um, you know, that jacket is, is signifying that. So, yeah, those were the three, the three artists that were on the track. That's interesting uh, that there's a gap in the two major cities in the state. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's next? So next we are uh, we're going into phase two. We're actually fundraising for phase two right now. Um, phase two is going to be an extended trailer, right, for the final phase of the uh, project, which is the full feature film. Um, with phase two, we want to do something similar as we did with phase one. Uh, we want to demonstrate our capabilities as filmmakers, but we also want to now pull together a, a larger segment of the community. So, you know, we're mm -hmm. phase one focused on two primary um, demographics. Phase two would now incorporate, you know, 20 or 30 more. Uh, and then, you know, the goal of phase three with the full feature film would be to incorporate all of them in the entire mm -hmm. metropolitan region. You know, we would pull people from uh, as many backgrounds, walks of life, demographics, economic statuses, orientations, faith groups, so on and so forth, as we possibly could, and, and have them collaborate on this film project. And the, um, the idea behind it is that, uh, you know, by creating this film, not only, again, are these, these individuals going to have an opportunity to work together, but the finished product <clears throat> is going to be something that we call a digital monument, right? Uh, you know, and we've been talking about monuments long before it, it became, you know, a, a newsworthy uh, conversation again. But uh, prophetic again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we wanted to create what we call digital monuments uh, with a film, and it will be, you know, a testament and a constant reminder to the entire community's ability to uh, to work together, and it'll be something that you know <clears throat> they can refer back to for generations to come. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we here at WRWK, um, Ron. Yeah, yeah. We we have thoroughly enjoyed this show. Uh, you yeah. guys have brought uh, so much passion just here in our studios, and I know it, it is um, circulating on the air. Uh, Khalid and Corey, I, I have um, a final question for you. Um, the awakening has begun. Hmm. That was one of the last things said in the video. Talk about mm -hmm. that in the next three minutes that we have. Yeah, so I let me kind of explain that scene because, you know, that, that kind of catches people off guard because they see this thing between, you know, the police and the African-American community and then suddenly there's lightning and fire. So that last scene was the, the pivot into our next uh, phases of the project, which is to produce an actually uh, a narrative film, a, a, a regular story told film, right? Um, that line, The Awakening Has Begun, is symbolic uh, for the film as well as the real world implication in that, you know, uh, we've found a way to now have these conversations between these uh, polar opposites uh, or these polarized uh, communities. So now, now that we've found a way to do it, um, you know, this is the awakening and, and uh, you know, we, we are interested in now pursuing what kind of impacts we can have as a result of this, uh, this awakened state situation. Mm -hmm. Tell us in uh, the last couple of seconds, how can people uh, respond to the fundraising for the next project? The next phase? Yes, the next phase. Yes. So you're raising funds, so how, how are you doing that? And um, how can the listeners, if they want to, um, be able to give? So the best way to do it is you go to our website, www facekc.org. Again, that's F-A-C-E 
kc.org. And there we've got all our information. We've got our uh, Kickstarter campaign is there. You can, you can find a link there. And, uh, and yeah, you know, we were just, you know, fundraising, hitting up, you know, everybody we can, friends, families, uh, organizations, businesses, so on and so forth, uh, trying to get to phase two. So, mm-hmm. yeah, go to our website, facekc.org, and that would be the best way to, uh, to support, donate. Fantastic. Well, Khalid and Corey, thank you for having the courage to walk in off of the street. <laughs> the <laughs> City Police Department with your dream. Thank you for the 30 meetings uh, that you were a part of to get this project um, up and moving. Guys, any last words? Thank you. <laughs> and stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Corey? Any, any final words, Corey? I think he's uh, okay. not here. Yeah, any final words, Corey? The last can you minute? guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Oh. Wow, I think we lost Corey. Oh, he he's back. There he is. We lost the audio, Corey. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. yeah I think Corey's final. That. There you there go, Corey. You got the final word. Go ahead. I got the final word. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to add, you know, the funding for phase two, we need that in order to pay the people that are helping us. Because so mm-hmm. far, we've been able to pay them very little, if anything, at all. Mm-hmm. So that's you know, that's a big part of why we need the money for the project. Right. So guys, you heard it. They need money, 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 money to get this project um, completed part of phase two. Khalid, Corey, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to have you on the show again. Of course, we, we only scratch the surface. So we're, we're going to bring you guys back. Thank you. Uh, You know, I love you. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need something just like you out here in Richmond. Yeah, we do. We're working we're, on it. We're working on it. <laughs> we oh, we'll be there. Yes. Definitely be there. Yes, yes. yes. All right, guys. Have Good a great day. You. Talk with you. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. You are listening to The Road Simmons Show. Uh, we are on air Monday through Thursday, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock p.m. Ron powerful show today yes it was a great show great show yeah. great show powerful video yeah powerful change that's what it's going to take that's what it's going to take you gotta yeah. get beyond the normal day-to-day and do some real soul search and make some real changes yeah well said ron well said well in these last few minutes i want to thank you again for uh listening and tuning in uh we'll see you tomorrow one o'clock p.m until two o'clock p.m on the Rose Simmons show. So you will, and I, I should throw in mm-hmm. a word for our station itself. They say it's the course of your WK, LPFM 93.9, the work FM. We're licensed in Middle Lothian. We serve Chesterfield, Henrico, Richmond, Goose, and Hanover, a little bit of Power Town, and anywhere else you can catch us on their car radio. We're also, of course, available on the internet, and we're glad if you're listening to us on the internet because we only exist because you listen to us. In every sense. So, welcome, and let's build this community together. We are here to build a bridge, city to county, left to right, neighbor to neighbor. So, engage, volunteer, and support. So, I can't say any more than that. So, stay tuned for your weekly constitutional, a weekly discussion of interesting constitutional issues from gay rights to gun rights. YWC 